Hello, and welcome to Giant Step's grooming video. Today, our volunteer Anne is going to demonstrate for us how we groom horses at Giant Steps in preparation for their therapeutic riding lessons. Before you go in to groom a horse, you're going to want to make sure that you have all the tools that you need. Each horse has their own grooming box that is, lives in the tack room, and inside that box you will find all the tools that you need to groom your horse. This is Nicker's box. That's the horse that we're working with today, and you'll see that he has a hoof pick, a curry comb, a stiff brush, and a soft brush. These are the tools that Anne will use today to groom Nicker for us. Now that she knows she has all of her grooming tools ready, Anne is going to take Nicker's halter and lead rope. It lives outside of his stall, as you can see there. She's going to enter his stall and go and catch him for his grooming session. Once you enter the stall to catch your horse, you're going to want to make sure you close the door behind you so the horse doesn't accidentally escape. Anne is being careful to not drag the lead rope on the ground as she goes. She's got the lead rope over her shoulder there, but you want to make sure you remove the lead rope from your shoulder before haltering the horse. She approaches Nicker and gives him a nice greeting before slipping the halter over his nose and buckling it behind his ears. Once Anne has Nicker caught, she will go ahead and bring him back into his stall and clip him up to his cross tie. All of the horses have a cross tie located in their stall. You can see Nicker's hanging there. We just use one cross tie at Giant Steps. So now that Anne has caught her horse, she's gonna go ahead and bring him inside. She's gonna gently place that lead rope over Nicker's neck there so it's out of the way, not dragging on the ground, and she's gonna clip the cross tie up to the ring located at the base of his halter there. Once you have your horse clipped up and caught, you can go ahead and open the stall door for ease of access. We always um, leave the grooming boxes outside of the stalls and bring tools in one at a time. And at Giant Steps, we do like to begin by picking out our horse's hooves first. So you can see Anne is standing uh, facing her horse's tail. She ran her hand down his leg and gently asked him to pick up his hoof. And he's such a good boy, he did it right away. We do pick our horse's hooves out first and that's because we wanna make sure that there aren't any problems with the horse um, surrounding their legs or feet that would preclude them from class before we do an entire grooming session. So. If it's a shod horse they've thrown or sprung a shoe, we're gonna need to find a different horse to fill in for them that day. So when we're picking out the horse's hooves, we do move around the horse, um, going from a front hoof to a hind hoof, then the other hind hoof, and then finally the, the last front hoof on the other side of the horse. Now that Anne is moving around, I'm gonna get in a little closer so you can see exactly what it is that she's doing. She's moving Nicker over there, you can see, to give herself a little bit more room between him and the stall wall. So Nick is barefoot in the back, and Anne is using the metal part of the hoof pick to dig manure, rocks, any sort of debris that could have gotten in between the sole of his hoof and his frog or around the perimeter of his hoof as well. So she's using a combination of the metal part of the hoof pick and the brush on the other side. When she's finished, she gently lets go of his hoof and he places it down on the ground himself. In the front there, you can see Nicker does have shoes. So it's a little bit deeper. There's a little bit more to dig out. You wanna make sure you do get all the way down to the horse's sole and that you can see the frog um, clearly. So Anne's doing a great job there and it looks like she is almost finished. Once Anne is finished picking out Nicker's hooves, she will go ahead and take the hoof pick back and go and get the next tool she's going to use. Anytime we have the horses clipped up in their stalls, we do want to move around the back of the horse as we go around. And you can see how she nicely put her hand on Nick's hoof or hip as she was going around the back there. That's so Nicker knows that she is there and he's not gonna get startled. It's the safest way for her to move around the horse once she's in the stall there. And the closer you are, the safer you'll be. 
Hi, Nick. Looks like he's enjoying his grooming session. So Anne went back out and she got the curry comb next. And the curry comb is the rubbery tool that you saw in the beginning there. She's doing nice circles with the curry comb. This is really nice for your horse. It's like a massage. It's good for their circulation. She's doing circles in all of the places where the saddle pad, the saddle, and the girth are going to go. This is how we loosen hair, get off mud and dirt and dust, all that stuff that we want to remove before we tack our horses up. If you have time and your horse is dirty, you can also curry them on their shoulders and their hips. Some horses really enjoy that extra attention, um, and if you have time, it's a nice thing to do. All right, looks like Anne is finished with the curry comb, so she's going to put that back in the box. She's going to go back and she will next get the stiff brush. The stiff brush, she's going to use all the places that she curried already. She's going to brush in the direction of the hair's growth. And she's going to um, use short little strokes there to remove all of the dust and dirt and hair and shavings that she has already loosened with the curry comb. So you can see how she's going with the hair growth um, there on Knicker's hip. You can do their legs a little bit uh, with the stiff brush as well. She's finished with one side. She's going to move over to the other side. Anytime that we are in grooming a horse, we always want to pay attention to how the horse is reacting to our presence and to um, the grooming that we are doing on them. So you want to take a look at your horse's head, your horse's ears, and see if they're okay with what you're doing or if maybe they're uncomfortable or unhappy or nervous or paying attention to something else. You can see Nick's ears moving there. He's kind of following Anne around as she moves around his body. But otherwise, he is standing still and calm and looks like he is very much enjoying his grooming session today. So finished with the stiff brush, Anne's going back and she's getting the soft brush. And you can see she's brushing Nicker's neck with that one. She's going to do longer strokes with the soft brush, again, in the direction of the hair growth. She's going to go over all of those places that she did with the curry comb and the stiff brush and maybe some additional areas as well. You can see she's uh, brushing his legs a little bit there. <clears throat> and this is our uh, finishing brush. You can also, of course, brush the horse's mane and tail. If that's something that you have time to do, we definitely appreciate it. And if the horse is especially dirty and has shavings stuck all in them, that is something that we like people to take the time to do. Nick's looks pretty clean today, so we are skipping mane and tail for today. All right, now Anne is finished with all the brushes, so she's going to put that final brush back. And uh, you'll see when she's done that she puts the lid on sideways. So that's a little cue that we use at Giant Steps just to indicate that, hey, this horse has been groomed already. So if it's a day when we have many horses that need grooming in a short period of time, you can easily walk through the barn and see Nick has been groomed. Thanks, Anne. You did a great job. I hope you all enjoyed the video.